Curing HIV is a formidable challenge, but I'm very optimistic for the future. The main goals of the Erase HIV Collaboratory is to find the cure for HIV, and it includes 15 different institutions, many of these academic institutions, but also an industry partner, Merck, and a community partner. And we have a very active collaboration. We put together a team of experts in the different key questions that we are trying to address, going from basic immunology to virology to translational intervention. One of the unique characteristics of the ERASE HIV Collaboratory and something that we're very proud of is that it's the only Martin Delaney Collaboratory that's based at a National Primate Research Center and headed up by primate center investigators. And studies in primates help us address some very basic questions, uh, such as where does the virus hide in the body? How can you reactivate the virus from these hiding points? And how can you activate the immune system to either help eliminate those virus-infected cells, or how can you control virus replication? One of the things that we focus on in the HIV Collaboratory is the role of CD8 T cells. And specifically, we're thinking about um, CD8 T cells having more than one function when it comes to HIV, but also in general. One of the roles that is well characterized is an antigen-specific role, which is thinking about HIV-specific cytotoxic T lymphocyte cells that are able to recognize HIV-infected cells that are expressing HIV proteins to be able to target those cells for lysis. Another role that CD8 T cells have is in a suppressor activity. And what we're hoping to be able to do within Erase HIV is to kind of combine these two ideas. How can we reprogram CTLs in individuals who don't have great CTLs to begin with? And on the suppressor side, we want to be able to control that, to be able to kind of relieve that suppression to make sure that we have the best response in the absence of sort of that break that we would normally see when suppressor cells are active. And so that's how we bring those two things together in the context of the Erase HIV Collaboratory. This really builds upon 25 years of, of research that we've conducted in our lab to understand both the good and the bad aspects of HIV-specific T cells within individuals living with HIV. And the approach that we're using builds upon the existing platform for SARS-CoV-2 vaccines. And instead of vaccinating a person living with HIV, this will actually directly treat their individual cells, their CD8 T cells, and deliver the ability for them to recognize cells uh, that are infected with HIV within that individual. It now gives the investigators from a race a platform that they can rapidly assimilate their ideas into. We can rapidly test the novel strategies developed in the Erase Martin Delaney Collaboratory and determine the viability of those to move forward in an iterative fashion. One thing very important of Erase HIV and of these Martin Delaney Collaboratories is that we have a community partner. So what we do, we try to start from the beginning, even before we design the study, to talk with our community partner, to talk with people with HIV, and be sure that whatever is the intervention we're going to test in the preclinical model will be acceptable if it's effective from people living with HIV. The lived experience of people is data. The lived experience of people is science, right? What we have to do is figure out how to incorporate that into the other standards of scientific practice in terms of the other types of research that we're able to do. Do you think communities could be more involved in these conversations if they understood what that work in your lab was? Of course they will. And they'll be there at the ready when we have something that works to say, I want to be a part of that because I know where it comes from. What I bring to the table to erase HIV is being the bridge between science and community. That's very important. Also being a hub of communication to understand and try to communicate to others what has been the advances. At the same time, be the messenger of hope for communities. I'm the living proof that it's possible to cure HIV. I'm a proof of concept. That is the advances, that is the, what I'm here today. The important thing is to, to know that 
This has to be something that is accessible to all 39 million people living with HIV, um, not just a select few in a select part of the world. And that's something that really kind of sticks out to us as an important factor for, for what we do. Emory reputation as a leading academic medical center and uh, research university is crucial to uh, foster the specific research interest in HIV. It has been a catalyst for major advances in virology, immunology, infectious diseases, even basic cell biology. So we envision that to continue at Emory as a whole. So we're very optimistic in that regard. I believe with the significant amount of work done by ERISHV and our colleague in other collaboratory, we really are doing a very important steps toward an HIV cure. And with all the innovation of new technology coming out from the HIV field, from the cancer field, I strongly believe that we will have a cure at least in my lifetime. <laughs>